What's up some fans around the world and welcome back to another video. So winter is approaching at a fast pace right now and it's about that time of the year it's time to switch to winter wheels which is usually nothing fun. Uh, back in the days I always switched to like 17 inch, 16 inch, maybe even 15 inch steelies on the car which is not fun at all. I mean, winter could be boring as it is. Usually in Sweden it turns to slush and we the last couple of winters we have barely had like really go, good snow weather, at least not here in the southern of Sweden. So right now on the car we have winter tires on, but these are going to get switched out and I will put this on my wife's car. So what I did was I started to look for a new set and if you have nice wheels on the car it makes it more nice to maintain the car, wash the car and I have seen on the internet right now a lot of people store their cars right now in Sweden and I get it you have a really nice car that will probably appreciate in value so it would be a good idea to store it away. Me on the other hand, I like to drive my cars, I like to use my cars, put mileage on them and service them accordingly. So I will use this this winter to come as well and I want to have a really nice set of wheels even during the winter. So I turned to block it and I found these 20 inch fond metal wheels. I got them for a really bargain. They were dusty, they were yeah, in terrible condition without tires, so quite a good price. So I bought a set of winter tires, studless winter tires, so you can run them basically all year around. But right now we don't have snow in Sweden yet, so it would make all the sense to, to use a studless tire. It's the least amount of annoying. And the two, three, four weeks that we have a lot of snow, this will work just fine. So these wheels are 20 inch by nine and they have an offset of 45. So we will switch out these wheels. And what I do want to talk about a little bit in this video is offset and fitment of the wheels. So we will start by measuring this actual wheel that I have right here and I will show you how I calculate and what I use to calculate fitment on the car. So what's really important when you calculate fitment or making sure that a tire and the rim fits on the car. Usually I see this all over the internet like people, most stock cars run around 17 inch wheels from factory. And a lot of people ask, uh, yeah, could, could I install 20 inch rims? For sure you can, but it depends on the width of the tire or the width of the rim. And it also depends on the offset. And the offset is for some hard to understand. So that is, if you have a very low number on the offset, that means that the wheel is going to sit further out. And if you have a high offset, that means that the rim is going to sit further in. So what I usually do is, I know the measurement on this wheel right here. So this is a Saab original. It has an offset of 41. That means that it's 41 millimeters off from the center. And I'm also running a 15 millimeter spacer on this setup right here. So what I usually do, is put a piece of wood next to the fender because this is the most important part we want to calculate and know where we have the fender then i just take the trustworthy Hultafors. you could use a tape measurement or whatever so that i would guess that it's somewhere around 15 16 millimeters to the fender liner and fitment 
always depends on how you want it. Some people want the rim to sit like this. And now it's e even, uh, it's moved out quite a bit. But I want to have a little bit better fitment than this. Make it, move it out just a little bit more. So now that we know these measurements, we will go to a site that's called Will They Fit? Where you can calculate from what you have and we could add the rims that I have bought. So we will see how that makes up for the calculation now that we know how far out we have the fender liner. So we will go to this site right here, willtheyfit.com. So this is not a sponsored video or anything. To the left we have the tire setup that I'm running. So I have a 245, 40 profile, 19 diam diameter tire. It's eight and a half inches wide. And from factory we have a offset of 41. So it will be like this, but I have a 15 millimeter spacer, so we will take away 15 millimeters, which will make it 26. So we will add that in. And for my new setup, I have a 20 inch rim that's nine inches wide. I have a 255 tie wide tire with a 35 profile. The offset on my new tires are 45. So if I wouldn't have any spacers, they would have sit further in than my current setup. But I'm going to install a 20 millimeter spacer in the rear. So that makes it 25. We click calculate and there's a calculator that will show the result, how it will look. So here you have a visual of uh, how it will look. So here we could just, we will say we will add a, a 40 millimeter spacer, taking the, the offset down to five, just to play with it. And then you can see you will end up quite far out. And we know that from the existing um, setup that we had to the left I could remove 16 from the measurement that we took so if we take this down to 10 we will see the maximum that I could move out the wheel and you can see the the orange line is the maximum where the fender is and the green will be the new that we just made an example of but then it will stick out further from the fender. Of course, if that's your preference of fitment, then it will work. For me, it doesn't. So we will go back to what we had before. And uh, we will make it like this. So not that big difference of the offset on, on the current setup. So when we switch this, we see this purple little square. So the new rim will sit 5.4 millimeters closer to the suspension strut and it will poke out 7.4 millimeters more than before. So I think that would be just, just perfect. So now we will lift up the car and remove the wheels. So we have installed a 20 inch spacer in the rear and we from previous time we have a 15 millimeter spacer in the front and what you have to do on these NG95s is that 
the studs that sit originally in the hub you have to cut off the little knob that's on them it doesn't affect anything of the threads or anything but it's needed to fit the wheel properly uh, over it afterwards and i've had this for i don't know two years or something I painted them with the, the Saab colorway, so this is laser red and 2K clear coat over and they have held up super nice. So what I usually do when I switch the wheels and everything, I wipe them off to, to make them nice and clean again. And the old wheel is a great design, but it covers the brakes, most of it. This new fond metal wheel has a more open face, so we will see a lot more of the nice brake. So this is the 355 millimeter brake disc and four piston Brembo brakes. So this is a very good upgrade. And I have this together with the steel braided lines. So we will wipe this off, install the wheels back. And what I also like to do is touch up on the lug nuts so they become black again because they, they wear down quite quick. So just a quick spray over and they will last until the next season. So for this job right here I'm using Refract. So this is a ceramic quick coat which does the job fantastic. Of course you could clean them priorly but I know that this dust that's on the brakes or the brake caliper is very light so I will just spray it down and this will give a nice protection for the winter and the caliper itself it just glows up when it gets this treatment which is really nice. can see how glossy it became by just wiping it off just so quickly. that came out really really good to be honest I'm not a really big fan of dark wheels on cars because I ju just think they disappear this, this gunmetal gray is quite okay I would say and you can see from the fitment that we calculated it sits inside of the fender but it's very flush and last winter I uh, raced the car a bit to get some more ground clearance due to the winter and I didn't lower it this summer because I had smaller wheels and since we put on a bit bigger wheel right now I will still keep it raced because it's winter time and you don't want to have the wheels too far out when it's winter and you can see that the open face rim just shows off this beautiful caliper so what we will do right now just add a little bit of tire shine to the walls of the wheel which will just top it off and make it perfect
Okay, so we will do a cold start of the car, do a few rollers, seeing the wheel in motion and see how it looks together with the brakes. This car is so loud at cold start. 